Hi, I'm Mark Aaron, and welcome to In Focus by You Multicultural, where we focus on civic issues here in Winnipeg. In today's episode, we'll be covering COVID-19 restrictions on schools in Winnipeg. With me right now is the principal of the UAL Arts and Technology Center, Mr. Brian Cameron. Mr. Cameron, how are you doing today? Doing good. How are you doing, Mark? I'm doing good as well. So as you know, COVID-19 just hit last year while you're starting a new semester. So how's ATC handling all the COVID restrictions? Well, for us, it's been a significant challenge because uh, a lot of our programs are hands-on and it's limited what we can actually do. So for example, uh, our I'll use our automotive technology program, for example. We, we're not taking outside vehicles for the students to do service work on. We've had to find alternatives to bring in for them to do any kind of service work. And, and it's a big part of what we do. Um, our culinary arts program has not been able to do any caterings. They have not been able to do uh, uh, anything where there's any out contact with the outside public. Um, our, uh, I'll, I'll use one last example. Our broadcast media program, which I know you're quite familiar with, has not been able to get out and do any of the events that they're used to doing. All high school sports, all uh, events that they would go out and, con and, and uh, stream and record, they've all been canceled. So everything, everything they're doing is in-house and it's made it a real challenge to get some of the work done. We also, at the most, depending on the class sizes, uh, our students are only coming in half time because we have to set up for social distancing. So not only are they not able to do some of the things that they expected to be able to do um, because of the limitations that are being put on by the pandemic, but only half the kids are coming in the building at a time. So it's a real different atmosphere around here from what we're used to. The COVID-19 have a change on how many students are applying to your school, say, compared to like last year? As it stands right now, we're down a few students coming into the new year than where we were used to. And, and there could be a number of reasons for that. Um, but for the most part, we're still there. Now, I, but in, and part of it may be that the student experience isn't, they know or have learned from other students, that the student experience isn't going to be what they had hoped or thought it would be. For some of our students, okay, students who come to my school, the students who come to the Arts and Technology Center, they, they, they are, they're expecting to do things hands-on. They're expecting to be able to get up and move around and do things. And when they can't, or, or it's limited from what they expected, um, and they know that, they're going, okay, uh, I, I, may not, I may hold off. I may choose to come after high school or something. I mean, this, this school, not only we take high school students, but we will take uh, post-secondary students if we have a room. So they, they maybe think it'll come after high school. So once COVID-19 lightens up a little bit more, would you be able to accept more international students? Yeah, for well, and that's one example. We do take international students. And right now we've got very few in the building because they're just not allowed to enter the country and that's federal regulations. Yeah. Um, but um, the, interestingly enough, you always learn something in a situation like this. So while some things are going to look go back to the way they were before, for example, the broadcast media program, we are definitely going to get out and start uh, live streaming some of those events that we were able to do in the past. But there may be things that we start to do differently because we've learned that because of the situation that um, they're in fact, they work a little better. Uh, so, you know, for example, some students may do more of the theory at home. They may watch videos in a flipped classroom type situation. <coughs> Pardon me. And watch the theory part, do more of the theory at work so that they can do more hands-on stuff when they come to school. And what we're learning is that part is actually working quite well. From Rister's perspective, how are all the teachers and students handling all the new restrictions? Because it's completely different from what they're used to. It, it's been a real mix in terms of uh, how people are coping. But overall, people are handling it really well. Um, students are coming in. In fact, honestly, we, our attendance issues are down like because kids are coming to school. And maybe because everything else is locked down. So you know, coming to school means they're able to get out of the house. Uh, but our attendance issue, uh, concerns, for the most part, are down. When students don't come to school, it's usually because there's a concern that they might get sick or that they came in contact with someone who was sick. Uh, they're, they're made, and so therefore, the, it's better that they stay home. 
yeah. but the vast majority of our kids and vast majority of time are coming to school. In fact, even late, or uh, the number of lates, uh, late arrivals is down. Most of them are coming to school on time. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Cameron. Thanks for having me. And now we will be speaking to an aesthetics teacher at the Luriel Arts and Technology Center, Ms. Lucille Lauren. Ms. Lauren, how are you doing today? Wonderful. I'm great. So COVID-19 hit last year. Was it different for you on the way how you teach or was it like something completely new? Well, for sure. Like when COVID first hit, um, I had one group and obviously they were so used to coming in every day and engaged with everybody. Um, and there was no social distancing, so it wasn't a big deal. But uh, in March when COVID hit, for sure, you know, we had to go to virtual learning, which was hard because um, you didn't have that same rapport, um, seeing everybody socializing, uh, the engagement was, was totally different. So that probably was a big struggle for sure, for students as well as myself. Your program is hands-on. And as well, you get to interact with customers. But with the COVID-19 guidelines, it's very limiting you to do all these things. So what changes have you had to make to follow those guidelines? Okay, so talking like say the March um, till June of uh, last year, we went, basically it was all theory. So we couldn't do any practical or it was really limited. So for instance, the girls, we did a aromatherapy project. So they would show me all the, say the cleansers, the products that they made. And then they would video um, themselves doing a facial on themselves, yeah. which is totally different because it's just yeah. not the same experience. So have you seen a huge difference in the number of students applying to your school from last year to this year now? Um, definitely there was, there was a bit of a decrease for sure. Um, some students just, it, they, they could not handle the virtual learning. So yeah. they decided to put their course on hold and come back when this whole, hopefully COVID-19 uh, is lifted. Yeah. So let's say that COVID-19 doesn't change in the next year. So uh, do you think the school will still be open or will you try to still adjust to the COVID-19 restrictions? Well, in a sense, if it doesn't, like if, if I guess there's two parts to that question. Yeah. If the COVID continues as it is and we can't have clients because we are a practical, yeah. um, we will, you know, um, do what we're doing now. We have to work on each other, um, but it's just not the same learning. Yeah. So we're hoping the restrictions do get lifted. Um, other than that, you know what, we've been dealing with COVID now for quite a while. We're in such a routine with it that yeah. um, it might actually seem weird to go back to what it used to be. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, Lucille. You're welcome. So now we'll be speaking to a stakes there at the Lurie Autistic Technology Center and give her perspective on the changes that were made. So with me right now is Yeva Danyanka. Yeva, how are you doing today? I'm good. So COVID-19 is new to everyone. We weren't used to like all the restrictions, all the distancing. So what changes have you had to make to adjust to the new setting? When this all started happening, we switched from going to school to starting like online school. Mm -hmm. And with us, it's um, a little more difficult since we need to have clients in order to like finish this course. We need like um, hands on practice. Yeah. So it was very difficult since we couldn't do that. We had to do um, work from home, which was very distracting for some people. Some couldn't handle that as well and didn't come back. And um, it was also stressful since um, we had to do so much work in such a little time in order to graduate. Yeah. So, yeah. Were you scared that you were going to get sick or were you more focused on getting your education first and then if you got sick, you would just stay home? 
yeah, I just, I wasn't really scared about getting sick. I just wanted to graduate because this course really matters to me. From your year in the school, do you see a decreased number of students going into school? Yes, I did notice that, um, like I said, um, when we came back this semester, um, uh, half of the girls um, didn't show, come back. They just decided to stay with their home schools mm. or just come back when um, COVID ends, I guess. So I know Luriel Arts and Technology School is a hands-on school. So are you upset that you didn't get that hands-on experience that you're hoping for? Yeah, it is. It is also very stressful since we really need those signatures and stuff. Yeah. In order to graduate, we need to practice. So it's very sad that we couldn't do as much. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, Yeva. Yeah, thank you. Well, that's it for today's episode of In Focus by You Multicultural. I'm your host, Mark Aaron. Thank you so much for the ATC staff and students for giving their insight on the COVID-19 and the restrictions on their school. Hope to see you again. Stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.